is the safety net helping and who isn't it serving and how much of a safety net do we really have? What we have failed to do is we, we had the right idea, we need to do something about it, so we did ban the box. We have a great partnership with our union, which is the Sheet Metal Workers, and they're based in Glendora. The success stories play out on the floor of our factory all the time. Although we work very closely with our, our local government, and the city of Lancaster has been great, and the supervisors' offices have been great, we have a harder time telling our story to the federal government. You know, there's a strata here that we've all heard about that's that's varied and complicated, but we can at least tackle a portion of it that affects, you know, people who really want to change and do better. A lot of times people look at Skid Row and they they look at the, the homeless of Los Angeles and they say, those people have no shot in life. You know, the success are just the stories that come out of, of these individuals that have been experiencing homelessness and giving them the luxury of time. Our model is you will treat the janitor the way you would treat the president. The number one cause of folks that enter homelessness for the first time is loss of a job or other major economic disruption. One of the parts of our program that is the most visible and that we're proud of is our employment social enterprises. Why is it so complicated? And we're guilty of that ourselves. Our program has not always used human-centered design. Traditional law enforcement does not work addressing homelessness. Through all this time since El Nino, the LA County Sheriff host team has never used force and never made an arrest. So this is a team of highly trained in specialization crisis stabilization techniques to interact with those experiencing homelessness throughout LA County. Empowering deputies to be compassionate and, and then not frowned upon as weakness then makes them stronger. So now we've already trained over 4,000 deputies along with our MET partners in the department on using the host model.